Good morning, welcome. Oh bless you, oh bless you. Welcome to today's vlog. It is Monday the 2nd of December um, and today we are going to Blenheim Palace to do their Alice in the Palace Christmas decorated extravaganza theme I think. Um, and we're going with Ben's parents and it's like our fake Christmas day with them. Um, so we thought we would vlog because it's his first Christmas and it's Alice in the Palace. So yeah, we're gonna vlog, join us. Hello everybody, we have arrived at Blenheim Palace. It is cold, um, which makes for a nice wintry adventure. We're just parked up and we're walking up to the house. And uh, I think we're gonna go in pretty soon and then walk around the Christmas market after that. So, Jude's enjoying the push chair. It's his first time. I'm very upset. <laughs> amazing the detail that went into every room was incredible um, Lorraine asked and apparently they shut the palace for two days to do it um, which to be honest I'm impressed it didn't take longer than two days um, but I guess they must have quite the team of people doing it um, but yeah it was absolutely incredible so we're just gonna walk around they've got like a mini Christmas market we're just gonna walk around that now um, to attempt Jude needs a nap he's just had a little bit of a scream but he's really tired so we're just trying to get him to sleep. Oh, well, I mean, sold dressing up and photos over there. What more could you want? Can I go? I good? I don't know. Yeah. Hello, good morning, team. It is 10 to 11 on the 6th of December. Uh, 19 days till Christmas. Does anyone else just think about which advent calendar door they open when they need to know the date in December? <laughs> How many advent calendars do we have? Two each. Actually, I have three, but I've not been opening one. I thought that was greedy. Oh, we could share that one. No. <laughs> I'm just going to open it. Um, You're going to do it in two days. <laughs> <laughs> one, <laughs> one day. So this is going to be a really good lit day. We are going to Shrewsbury. I know, the best of all places. Um, no, we're going to a Dobby's to meet my nine and tide, my Welsh grandparents. That's kind of halfway between their house and our house. And we're meeting my parents there. We're going to have Christmas dinner. It's the first time that nine and tide have met Jude. And so it's going to be quite a special day for them. Also celebrating Christmas. You know, I don't don't really um, get to see Nine and Tide at Christmas, especially now I'm working um, for a church and um, working at Christmas, so uh, it's good to make some time to go before. I'm having turkey. Are you having turkey? I'm having turkey because the only other option was like fish. Who has fish for, for Christmas dinner? dinner? Anybody? Comment below. Well, actually be don't because you're wrong and you shouldn't. <laughs> Look at the rainbow. <laughs> Glimmer of hope in this gloomy day. The sun must be breaking through somewhere. Oh. Welcome back to Christmas in the Williams household. This is Jude. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. It is Christmas Eve Eve. 
So we are preparing the house. So tomorrow we have my parents and my granddad coming over for brunch. I'm going to put my glasses on my nose properly. There we go. And so I've set up the table, even with his high chair. They're coming over for brunch, like sausage, bacon, eggs, that kind of meal, before then I go out to work. And we're not seeing my parents on Christmas Day because we're spending it with Emily's parents and brother. So, um, yes, we are doing that instead as a, a treat for Christmas and for them to see Jude and um, them to have... I don't know why I showed you Jude. You know what Jude looks like and you know he exists. So I don't need to do that. Anyway, I did it. Um, so they can see Jude open his presents from them, at least. <clears throat> One thing to point out is that in the centre of the table... I have put a wreath with some candles in. It's the first Christmas without my grandma, so that wreath was made by my grandma, and um, obviously we'll light the candles, and hopefully that'll be kind of a nice little kind of reminder that, um, you know, we love her and we miss her. So, anyway, that was kind of the idea that I had to try and bring her into Christmas. Right. <laughs> Just to uh, say you've just seen, uh, we have moved a bed into the office um, so that when Ed comes to stay, uh, my brother-in-law, Uncle Ed to Jude, um, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day night, he can stay there because obviously upstairs, though we have enough bedrooms, they're not really used as bedrooms. <laughs> um, we have one spare room which my in-laws will be in, Jude's nursery, our room, and the other room is sort of a wardrobe and dressing room essentially um so we've had to do that but hopefully he'll be nice and comfortable now there is a mattress and a uh, kind of what's it called a thing that the mattress sits on mattress board bottom I don't know. anyway just got to find all of the single uh bed sheets and covers and things like that because we used to have them but we've not had a single bed in ages so I think we might have got rid of them anyway I think they'll be somewhere but in the depths of the airing cupboard but that's all set up I think we're pretty much there I'm sure there's some jobs I've forgotten Happy Christmas Eve! Um, I can't believe it's Christmas Eve already. Ben's parents are here and Ben's granddad is here and we're all gonna have like a Christmas Eve brunch thing now before we go to the nativity service. It's gonna be fun, it feels, feels very Christmassy. Like we've got makeshift bedrooms, like we've made the study into a bedroom, um, which feels very traditionally Christmassy. <laughs> Hello, hello. Trouble. Hello, hello. Here's it's trouble. trouble. <laughs> He's gone long, hasn't he? Yes. Haven't you? Are you kicking those legs? to open our stocking. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs>